Good morning and welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing some like shopping around. I need, I'm in this like, does anybody else get in this like weird funk with their house where they're like, you just wanna finish everything right now because that is like exactly how I'm feeling. I'm feeling very just like overwhelmed and like all of the half finished projects in the house, I, I just, I need to see them get done. So anyways, I showered this morning and now we're on the way out the door to go grab some, now we're on our way out the door to bring Kaya to preschool. Also wanted to mention that some mornings if I'm really not feeling well, like especially after having a stomach bug, um, I will let myself eat. And I only took like two bites of that little burrito that I made, which was a low carb tortilla, red hot sauce, and an egg. And I know red hot sounds so crazy right after like I've been sick, my stomach is still upset, but I just hate plain food so much. And I can't have any cheese and I like didn't have any other salsa. So anyways, I just threw some red hot on there. I will probably regret that later because my stomach is still like aching a little bit, but we're gonna go to Menards because I need to pick up paint and I need to pick up some wood or some board and batten. So I need to go upstairs. I need to measure out in the bathroom where I'm putting in board and batten. All right, so I'm gonna head upstairs. I'm going to grab my measuring tape and I'm going to do some measuring and I'm gonna make a list of materials that I'm gonna need to grab. And fingers crossed, I have enough room in the Yukon to get the lumber home. All right, so behind the scenes of doing a project, it um, can be a little bit more complicated than what you are anticipating. Um, this project in particular, I know there's gonna be some hiccups along the way, especially since I'm doing it by myself. Um, I will be sharing the room makeover um, time lapse over on the At Home with Morgan channel. I'll be sharing the behind the scenes here and I'll be sharing the step-by-step -step tutorial over on m, &M Rustics. Um, okay, so I've got 161 inches to work with, which means, so I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna do a board and batten or if I'm going to do a a beadboard because I've got beadboard in the garage right now, so I need to decide which one I'm going to utilize. Okay, so I have beadboard in the garage, but it's literally short by like two inches on the one side, so I will have to pick up a small sheet of it if they have it. I gotta get stain and the putty colored paint and some Loctite. Let's see if I can do this. Oh. Okay, so I need to adjust this back down. There we go. Okay, I think Mike might kill me. <laughs> um, he has no idea that I'm doing this project. So I'm gonna take a peek at beadboard panels. If I think it's just too complicated, I'm going to nix the whole thing. Um, I think that we have a jigsaw at home. I mean, Mike has every tool, mostly every single tool under the sun because of our furniture building business. So I'm going to assume he has a jigsaw. Um, I know how to use a jigsaw. I know how to use a miter saw. The only saws I'm not like super comfy with, I know how to use but I'm not super comfortable with, is a table saw and a um, circular saw. The circular saw is like too big and bulky. Um, ours is anyway and it like the fence on it is really weird so it's hard for me to like keep it straight without like shredding the material so anyway I'm trying to avoid using that if I can I just want to use a jigsaw because it's small it's easy to use I can like maneuver it a lot better and then it's also like more so like beginner friendly as well so that if I upload a step-by-step -step tutorial for you guys I would feel comfortable sharing that knowing that a lot of you know a lot of my viewers out there maybe only feel comfortable with using a jigsaw as well so anyway I need to do that I'm gonna pick up some paint um, and then I'm also going to attempt to frame out the mirror now this is gonna be a two-day project but this bathroom makeover will be live over on my At Home With Morgan channel as soon as it is done. I'm hoping to launch the channel by next Monday, but it, but it would be super awesome if I was able to launch it this Friday so you guys could have some weekend projects to like get excited about. But So in case you missed it, in Monday's video, I am launching a new channel called At Home With Morgan, and that is where you're now going to find all of my home decor and cleaning and organization. I am separating it out from this channel because I have a mix of genres going on here. I've got a lot of like day-to-life vlogs going on and like mom tips and mom content 
but I really want to dive deeper into each of those topics and genres and do more videos on each one um, which means that I need to separate it so that in the at home with Morgan I can focus on like weekly cleaning tips and deep cleaning and I know like some of you aren't here for my cleaning videos and that's okay so now it just makes it easier if I separate everything. So be sure again to go and check out the At Home with Morgan. I will be doing a big 1,000 subscriber giveaway. As soon as we get to 1,000 subscribers, I'll be doing a big giveaway, and I'm super excited um, to announce that to you guys. I This is just like a whole journey. I've wanted to dive deeper into the cleaning and the organizing and the home decor stuff and room makeovers, but I just didn't feel like with my upload schedule, on this channel and like the genre on this channel that I was I wasn't able to really like do that so anyway I'm very excited let's go in I'm gonna show you the behind the scenes of this room makeover and <laughs> let's hope let's hope I'm able to figure this out so already mask up let's go also if you guys are wondering I take my dog with me everywhere he comes with me everywhere Cody says so good good boy I take him with me everywhere, um, but I leave the car running for him and I also crack a window a little bit because it's only five degrees outside. It's way too cold for me to leave him in here by himself, um, but I also want to make sure that he has a little bit of ventilation. So um, anyways, and then he also has a, um, I have a portable like food and water bowl in the way back for him. He's so spoiled. And only he comes with me because my um, mini Australian Shepherd is a freak. I take her with me if I'm not running errands. Like, if I'm just dropping off Kaya and coming home or picking up Kaya and coming home, I'll bring Aspen with as well. But if I'm, like, going to a store, she's not good in the car. She just, like, she scratches up my dash and she freaks out at everything and every little squirrel that passes by. I know you guys can relate. I'm sure some of you have dogs like that as well. So, anyway, all right, let's head inside and get these things on our list. All right, just finished up at Menards. And now, I I am starving. I'm so hungry and I'm trying to convince myself that I do not need to get Chipotle, but Chipotle runs my life. So um, I did talk myself out of it. I talked myself out of it because it's already 11.50. I need to get home and my Chipotle is like 20 minutes away, so that would be like 40 minutes of driving and I need to get Riker down for a nap. So, okay, we're just gonna go home. I'm gonna find something to eat there for both Riker and I, and then I am going to dive right into this project. But again, if you guys want to see the makeover of the bathroom, stay tuned over on the At Home With Morgan channel. Um, I'm super excited to do this. I think it's gonna be like, it's totally gonna transform the space. and. And then um, the step-by-step -step tutorial for like cutting the wood, etc., is gonna be over on the m, m Rustics channel. See how all three channels come together to make like one big happy family? It's gonna work out really well. I wish that the YouTube algorithm wasn't insane and I could just upload all the videos on one channel, but that is not the way that YouTube works, so. Okay, I'm gonna bring you guys in. I... I'm experimenting a little bit. So I just got home. Um, I, again, like wasn't feeling super great last week, so I didn't really eat a whole ton. Um, I did weigh myself this morning finally, and I didn't really lose anything last week, but I think that's because when I did eat, I was having like mashed potatoes um, and chicken and things like that. Just like, I wasn't watching like my carb count. I don't know, anyways. And then I also had like ginger ale to like help settle my tummy. I wasn't super focused on dieting when I had like the stomach flu, so now I'm back into keto this week. Here's what we got cooking today. All right, so I've got some cauliflower rice that I'm sauteing up on here, which I do need to toss a cover on that real quick like. Okay, so what I do with the cauliflower rice is I like to cook it in the microwave according to the back of the package for, um, five minutes and then I put it on the skillet and this is just so that I can make sure it is thoroughly cooked and I want to season it um, so you can think of this as like fried cauliflower rice I put a little bit of um, it's called Fergalicious it's like a um, we get this from a local meat shop I'll see if I can find it um, somewhere online for you guys so I can link it 
but it's for delicious barbecue. It's just like a general um, seasoning, kind of like a Mrs. Dash or like a Nature Seasons, um, but this is just really good on all meat. And then I also used a little bit of Knorr um, chicken bouillon, like the powdered stuff, and I powdered that in there just a tiny bit, and then I did, I did a little of the Hidden Valley Ranch seasoning in here too. Now, I would typically wanna do cilantro lime rice, but because I don't have any cilantro and I didn't want to add any lime to this, um, this is what we're going for. It's like a, just a general seasoned cauliflower rice. Now, the chicken, which I do need to check the temperature. Oh, that's good. It's held down here. Okay, so this is the chicken. Actually, I would do chicken thighs for a burrito bowl but I do not have any chicken thighs defrosted, but I did have chicken breast defrosted. So for the chicken, all I did was um, put a little bit of oil in the bottom. I just have um, olive oil, but I put that in the bottom and covered it with chili powder, that Fergalicious seasoning, um, some garlic powder, paprika, and some chipotle powder to give it some spice, and then some garlic powder. Um, and then after I am done um, cooking this, I'm actually gonna saute it in a little bit of lime juice and chipotle mayo. And then we're gonna put it on top of the cilantro lime rice, add some avocado or guacamole, and um, I might have a little bit of queso in the fridge. So we're gonna do like our own chipotle like bowl. <laughs> okay, now that my chicken is all diced up, I'm going to stir it around, mix it up, a little bit of chipotle mayo. And the only reason why I'm using chipotle mayo is because I'm out of my super secret chipotle sauce. And then I'm just gonna do a tiny bit of lime juice. I'm gonna mix that up and see if we need any more. This is just going to add a little bit more moisture back into the chicken. I like to do this with my chicken thighs before I cook them, but since this is chicken breast, I cooked it a little bit differently. All right, I think that is just about perfect. That is what our chicken is looking like. All right, for the topping, I do have this creamy queso sauce by um, Old El Paso, and for carbs, um, there are two grams of carbs per tablespoon, so I'm just gonna give it a quick run over. So I'd say that's about two tablespoons. Fatty sour cream as well because I'm again I'm not super concerned about what I'm eating as far as like dairy and stuff this week. I'm just trying to get back into keto after having that really nasty stomach bug. My stomach is still kind of questionable. So as long as it's keto, I'm letting myself have it this week. Um, and I am gonna try and get a kale smoothie in this afternoon as well. All right, and then I'm gonna add some salsa. And I had one more avocado in the fridge and it's legit perfectly ripe. Um, so I'm gonna add some uh, mashed avocado on top of this with a little bit of salsa and that's all I'm gonna do. Um, usually I would do like, like fajita vegetables and stuff like that but I am starving and I don't wanna cook anymore. We're doing paper plates today because I have a whole bunch that I need to use up and then I don't need to do dishes. <laughs> all right, this is what it looks like all um, served up, done, I don't know. This isn't exactly the most gourmet like serving up, but it is super good and it's gonna hit the spot. Mm -hmm. That is about as close as we're gonna get to Chipotle today. Good morning guys, it's the next day. I totally forgot to end the vlog, I do that all the time. Um, I got super into my at home with Morgan video, which was a bathroom makeover. I'm excited to announce that that is coming for you guys next Monday. The bathroom makeover is going to launch my new channel, my new channel next Monday. I've had some problems with the link to that channel, which is really weird, but I will leave a link down below for you guys again, so you can head on over there and subscribe so that you don't miss out on any of those videos. So anyway, this morning doing my normal and I am having my vitamins and I'm brewing my coffee over ice, which I just, brew it over, like I use my Nespresso machine, so I do espresso 
over ice in my little Yeti coffee mug thing. And I do not add any sweetener. I do not add any creamer or anything like that. So, what? All right, I'm going to grab my vitamins. I think I told you guys this yesterday, but I was kind of shocked I got on the scale um, after being sick with what I thought was the stomach flu, which I'm going to explain more in a second here. Um, Where's my pants? I, your pants are right there on the counter, the black, the black ones. And then your cereal's on the counter because the cat was trained to eat it. Um, I thought I had um, the stomach flu because I was like super nauseous. I was really sick for like days and days on end. Um, oh, here, I'll turn on some octonauts. So last week I thought I had the stomach flu because like every single time I would eat, I never like threw up, but I was so nauseous to the point where I was like, oh, um, like I just was miserable. And um, finally, like last weekend, Saturday night was the worst night. I'd had a margarita, which by the way, if you guys haven't tried the low calorie margarita mix, you have to, it's so, so good. Um, it has like, two or three grams of carbohydrates in it. Anyway, I finally realized, I was like, okay, well, after I drank that margarita that night, I, that's when it was the worst, and which is really weird. Um, I was like super, super nauseous. And then um, I started kind of having some UTI symptoms. And then everything kind of clicked yesterday because my kidneys started to hurt. And I realized that I've had a UTI this entire time and didn't even know it. I think, I think part of me kind of did, but um, my, the lower abdominal cramping, the really bad nausea, and um, I've been really tired. I've had like a, over 100, fe it's just like been like 100 to 100.4 fever. Um, consistently for the past week, but yet again, I've felt pretty okay besides that. I still have my energy for the most part. Um, there were a couple days last week I was knocked on my butt, and then sure enough, yesterday I found out I did have a kidney infection. I have a UTI, and that is why I'm feeling like this. So, anyway. So for those of you who don't know, I get UTIs like all the time, um, but usually I'm able to combat them with a supplement called the Manos. I'm not a health expert, that's just what has really worked for me. Um, but I've been really bad about taking it lately, and I have not been consistent whatsoever. Anyway, um, I just haven't been very good at taking my D-Manos lately, which would explain why I got a really bad infection. I, like, I, I don't know what else I'm doing wrong. I'm doing all of the other things, if you know what I mean. So I don't know what else, like, more I can be doing to prevent these. But I'm gonna do some diligent research to see if there's anything additionally that I can, like, cut out or increase or whatever to try and eliminate these because this is probably the worst one I've had in a, in a long time. All right, I'm going to end the vlog there for today. I'm gonna to take my morning vitamins, sip on my morning coffee, get Riker dressed, brush Kaya's hair, and then get Kaya to preschool because mama has to, I really need to clean the house today um, and take down the rest of the like winter decor. I'm just not feeling it anymore. Um, so that video, it's gonna be like a deep, deep clean um, and redecorate with me. That will be live over on the At Home with Morgan channel next Thursday because the one on Monday is the bathroom makeover. The one on Thursday is going to be the, I can't decide if it's gonna be like a get it all done or just like an ultimate deep clean or if I need to keep get it all done videos here on my channel where I don't necessarily focus on cleaning but I focus more so on like grocery shopping and all of like the mom get it all done things. Let me know what you guys think down below. Um, also, I forgot to show you guys my dinner yesterday. I think I was showing you a what I eat in a day. Um, yesterday, for breakfast, I think I had those, I had like half of whatever that was, um, the egg thing. Um, and then for lunch, I had some of, some of that cauliflower rice and chicken. I only ate half the plate 
because I really wasn't feeling good. And then for dinner last night, I had a T-bone with zucchini noodles in Alfredo sauce and um, also a side of, God, what was the other thing I made? Oh, I did bacon wrapped jalapeno poppers. They were so good. They're like, all of it was keto, it was low carb. So that is what I ate yesterday. It was all well within my macros and my calorie limits and everything like that. So I am going to be posting a couple of recipes. <laughs> Riker is like over me recording this morning. Um, I am gonna be recording a couple of recipes over on my TikTok in the next couple days, so stay tuned for some new recipes. One includes eggplant, which I've never cooked with before. Um, and then I am also going to be doing a what I eat in a day on Friday and like kind of talk a little bit about my weight loss update, where I'm at, etc. So, all right guys, I will see you on Friday for that what I eat in a day, okay? Bye guys.